what's going on YouTube this is K Reese here today I'm gonna bring y'all an unboxing and install of these lights here I picked up on Amazon first I just want to show y'all how much of this stuff they included which is all this like bubble wrap stuff guys it's, they pack so much of it inside of this box it is ridiculous but anyway you guys got these on Amazon look at some reviews of these things um, I can show y'all right here. These are, they're called Heath Zenith Motion Activated. They got two different light modes. Um, putting these outside on the front porch to replace the two porch lights that are uh, beside the door. So, um, so it automatically operates at night. It's got a metal construction. Um, so it uses 160 watt max medium base bulb. They said you can use LED bulbs with this. Um, as long as it's uh, like a dimmable LED, it will work. So uh, you see weather resistant metal, silver finish with clear seated glass, 150 degree rotatable motion sensor. So that's pretty cool. Um, it sure it's only night operation. You got the sensor there. Uh, selectable motion timer, one, five or 10 minutes. You can set it how long you want it detects motion, how long you want to stay on. You can adjust the motion detection up to 30 feet. Uh, so, you know, great for having outside whenever you pull up in your car, you're walking up, walk outside, you're going to have lights come on. Um, so that's pretty cool, guys. So, uh, see motion activated. It's got a manual mode. You can see right there it allows the light to be turned on or off as needed. Um, right here it says your red wire. If you connect those multiple lights, you can get synchronized operation. So easy installation, universal bracket fits all standard junction boxes. So looks like all they have here is a screwdriver. I'm going to be using a, um, a power drill just to make the job a little bit faster and easier. Um, anyway, guys, this is it. So uh, we'll go ahead and open this thing up and we'll see what we got inside. Right, so you got an instruction manual here. You got some wire nuts and some screws. This is the light here. It comes in this plastic. You see here you got the inside of this box and uh, the other cardboard that was in there also. So I'm going to open this up and we'll check the light out. So you got your bracket right here that you're going to mount to the wall. Ground wire. These little caps go over, fit through these holes right here so it sits on the wall like this. You see flip around in the back you got all your wires here for wiring it up. You got your, it's got tests. 15 10 minutes I think it's 5 10 and 15 there's like a couple of clicks when you press it you got your sensitivity right now I got it on high see how it works you got your sensor there and uh, this is the whole light the whole fixture in the housing the sensor up front looks like by the your motion sensor um, and that's it it's like a kind of like a funny looking glass inside This is the light, guys. Let's go out here and see if we can put this thing together. Okay, so I didn't show you all this before, but this is what it looks like whenever you open it up. You've got your your wire nuts with the screws in here, and then you also got your instruction manual that's stuffed in here as well. So that's what it looks like when you first open it. Um, I just pulled this cardboard out of the way to get, get access to the light here. Um, actually, guys, I've already got the other one installed. Um, I'll show you all what it looks like. We're going to go back out here and I'm going to um, just kind of walk y'all through the process of doing this. So here's one light installed. Yes, I'm doing this at dark. Kind of want to show y'all what it looked like whenever I got it together. But anyway, that's the light right here. Come over to this side. So coming over to this side, you can see your wires here. Make sure you shut the breaker off so that you kill the power. You don't want to get electrocuted doing this. But um, pretty simple. Match the white wire to the black wire on the back of the housing and you're mounted up and you're good to go so before i put it back on guys here's your parting shot that's what it should look like all right guys so i want to show you all the settings i had it on to start with you can see if you turn it on to test flip it to test um it'll come on regardless uh whether it's day or night um you've got one five and then ten minute i have both of my lights set um on high sensitivity and for five minutes so um like this one over here 
is also set the same. So I'm gonna go flip the breaker back on and we'll see what we got. All right guys, so I wanted to show you this. I'm out here in front of the house. <clears throat> I wanna show you all the lights, see how they cut on. I'm pretty good distance away. I'm seeing if they're gonna catch me at this range. I'm gonna start walking towards it and let y'all know when it, y'all know when it turns on. I've got it on medium sensitivity. I changed the sensitivity. So, about right here. So, medium sensitivity, I was somewhere in this area before they turned on. Hey right, guys, so it's pretty dark out here. I just wanna show y'all, I actually did install some LED lights in the lights. Also, I had um, the light replaced out here for my aerial light, so it's lit up the driveway pretty good in the front yard. But um, we're just going to walk over here. Like I said, I got it set on medium sensitivity to stay on for about one minute. So you can see, bam, bam, both lights on. So this is what you have, guys. This is what they look like with the LEDs. Um, the daylighters, I believe they're called. The LEDs, like I said, will work. They just have to be the dimmable kind. And you can see they come on, look good, put out a pretty good bit of light. Pretty happy with them, guys. Gay Reese, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.